Tangle. Back, left, right, shoulder. One, two, three, four, five, six, then out. Then we'll turn the ladies to face, return, change hands, and back. Now, with this move, it starts off like an ordinary arm jive. So we step back, double hand hold. We now pull back with our left elbow right elbow, then the left hand goes back to the shoulder. Now from here, you're going to raise that left hand, but you keep hold of the lady's hand with your right, not too far up into the back, but just enough so that it's comfortable. Now as the lady starts to turn, drop your left hand a little bit, because it's important that our right hand is over the lady's arm. The lady ducks down as our right hand goes over the lady's head and round down the lady's arm so that it's comfortable not pulling on the lady's shoulder too much. From there now, we've still got hold of both hands. The men are gonna turn to his left. The ladies just stay on the spot now as we turn our back to the ladies, continue to turn all the way around so that our left arm is now around our neck and the right hand is out to the side. With the next part of the move, our left hand goes over our head, straight over to the lady's head, so it drops around by the back of the lady's neck. We're going to turn the ladies now with this right hand, turning it on the spot. The right hand goes over her head, over her elbow, and down to her waist. Now, it's a little bit tight, but there's enough room to take your left hand over the lady's head, dropping it down again in front of the ladies. From there, you just extend both arms out to the side like a crucifix position, raising that left hand, dropping that right hand down. Now, we're going to finish the move with a return, and as we return the ladies all the way around to prepare us for the next move, we're going to change hands into our left, and we're going to offer our right hand to the ladies. Let's have a look at the arm jive tangle from the ladies' point of view. Starting off like a normal arm jive, you step away, you do your left, right, and then up to the shoulder. Now, the first thing that the lady knows something different is going to happen, as the man starts to turn her, he brings the hand behind her back up quite high. As you continue to turn round, ladies, you will then notice that the man's arm's high. This is a clue for you as you need to duck underneath, get your elbow out of the way and stand back up. From here, the man starts to turn and ladies, we just stay on the spot until he turns and turns and he turns round to face us. From here, the hand that's behind his head, he raises it and drops it over the lady's head. From here, he raises his right hand and turning the lady, he needs to get that hand over your head, over your elbow and drops it down to the waist. From here then, the hand behind the lady's head goes over the top, drops all the way down to the waist. You can uncross the hands, bring the lady's hands out to the side. Finishing like an accordion, he raises the left hand, drops the right to bring the lady round to face. We step in, taking both the hands over the lady's head and we're going to step back with a double hand hold, ready for the next move. We're now going to do a basket Manhattan with a Latin step. Back, wrap, back, forward, pivot. One, two, then through and back, through with a double turn. One, two, and back. Starting off with our double hand hold, we both step away. As we wrap the ladies into our side, we're going to cradle the ladies back into our arms, cradling the ladies forward. Now this is where it all changes again. 
As you pull with this right hand, the lady twists round. The left hand is raised just slightly, so when we pivot round ourselves, our left hand is now on the lady's shoulder. Now what's going to happen is we're going to raise that right hand, turning the ladies in front of you, and the lady then turns all the way around, and we can bring this hand to our left shoulder. The ladies now stay where they are. We now turn to our right, raising our left hand all the way around. We can let go of our right hand so the lady's hand stays on our shoulder. And as we turn to face the lady, her hand will slide naturally across your shoulders into a first move position. When we're into a first move position, we're just going to send the ladies back onto her right foot. Now the ladies have stepped back, you're going to pull her forward onto her right. You step through on your left again. Now using your right hand to pull the ladies forward, you're going to raise your left hand, double turning the ladies as she travels across the room, stepping back at the very end. Right then, the basket Manhattan starts as a normal basket, left to right as we step away. From here, the man pulls us into the side, he cradles us back and then cradles us forward. From here, we're going to pivot to face the opposite direction. Men, they take the left hand and as we pivot, it actually comes up onto the lady's shoulder. From here, he raises his right hand, which starts us ladies on an anti-clockwise turn. We turn all the way to face. The man then continues to turn. With this left hand, as he lets go, we just slide across his shoulder. So we end up in a first move position. And as the man steps through with his left foot, ladies, we step back on the right. Now the man, by using this hand on our back, he pulls us, which then means that we step through on the right. Again, using that hand, he pushes us away and we step back. We're going to do a double turn out. So he raises the left hand to turn us once, turn us twice, and then we step away. The short backhander. One, two, three. With the short backhander, we're going to offer our left hand to the lady's right. We start off, as always, nice and close. You draw your semicircle to the left and you both step away. Now, with this move, we can place our thumb on the back of the lady's hand and we just gently twist the lady's hand out to the side a little bit. From here, we're going to pull the ladies forward, taking that hand to the lady's right hip, turning the ladies as she travels. Now, from here, we need to step in as well to half the distance so that it's not such of a pull around for the ladies. So as Lucy steps in, I step in two. My right hand meets the left on the lady's right hip. I change hands into my right hand, but I'm going to change hands again in a moment. As I continue to change sides, I pull back with this right hand, keeping it nice and low. And at the very last moment, I change back into the left hand and we both pause. The short backhander is only a three beat move, but there's an awful lot going on within these three beats. Left to right with your partner, and as you step away, the thumb goes on the back of the lady's hand, you turn the palm up towards the ceiling. The reason for this is the man's going to sweep this hand, which causes the lady to step in with her left shoulder. So from here, Karen sweeps my hand, I start turning, and as I come into the man's side, he's actually going to transfer my hand into his right. He pulls back, he transfers the hands again, and at the end of the move, we want to actually stop dead and keep the move perfectly still. So putting this move to account, it looks like this. It goes one, two, Showing off, don't wanna have to wait tonight, wait tonight Better off, I'm gonna find my way tonight, wait tonight 